Hi, I'm Liam, and this is a quick discussion. Uh, last week I made my Walking Dead Season 9 Death Predictions video, and then straight afterwards, uh, Andrew Lincoln announced he was leaving The Walking Dead. The Rick is leaving, he's probably going to die. The whole thing has changed now. Maggie's probably leaving. So that video is completely, like, irrelevant now. Uh, some of it still stands, but most of it is irrelevant. So what I'm going to do this time is talk about what I would do in this situation, because we know that Daryl is being groomed for the lead. We know he's been given a, a massive pay rise. I'm not sure how much, I can't remember the, the numbers, but uh, he's now going to be groomed for the lead and potentially take control of the survivors group. But in my opinion, I think that's a terrible idea, and I think if I was handed this situation, what I'd do is move on and let the original survivors survive, essentially, and then we can move on with Daryl separately. So what I mean by that is that this Season 9, consider it something of an epilogue, um, and we get to tie up all our loose ends, most of them, and then eventually... Uh, something will happen um, that will send Daryl off on his own and then the new seasons will focus on Daryl on his own not Daryl as the leader or as a prominent member of the survivors I don't think he's a leader type character I don't think he's the type of, he's not particularly social or much of a speaker nowadays and I don't think he's the type of person that's really a team player so I think it would be really cool to see Daryl go off on his own and see how that might affect the show now um, how that could happen I think potentially uh, stealing from the comics and using the radio storyline where Eugene constructs a radio and ends up contacting a, a massive group called the Commonwealth and they go over to travel there but instead potentially this time Daryl could be the one who travels there um, and heads to this Commonwealth type scenario and he would leave the group um, potentially he's been fueled by some sort of loss as well maybe there's a character close to him that's died um, and he's just going to leave the group, he's going to say his goodbye to Rick, and I think that's a really good way to leave the show on, because no one wants to see Rick die, no one wants to see Maggie die, and by the time those two are dead, Michonne, how much longer is she going to want to stay on the on the show when she's in Avengers and Black Panther, um, and how long are the other actors just going to sit around and, and wait? Um, so I think this season can be used to tie up all the main storylines and then Daryl can move on, potentially someone has died, potentially he's got this coordinates for the Commonwealth, for this big community that he's going to check out and potentially see if they're good, he's going to leave, he's going to have this big uh, f emotional farewell with Rick and we'll see Alexandria look like the dream sequence from a mix between Glenn's dream sequence when he is killed by Lucille and Carl's dream sequence when uh, he dies. All those flash forwards. I think that would be a really good, nice payoff to show that the survivors for once are actually happy. Uh, the Walking Dead is something that hasn't really been good at payoff. And I think this would be a really good way to leave everything happy before we inevitably tear through every character and the show is no longer recognisable anymore. Then Daryl can head out. And um, I have here a few, a list. Um... Potentially, if they wanted to keep a co-star with him, I'd suggest either Carol, Negan, or Rosita. If it was Negan, there might be something he would have done. And uh, Rick doesn't have the heart to kill Negan, but has decided to exile him, so Daryl's gone with him to make sure he leaves. It could have, be this like buddy dynamic. They have quite a cool one. Um, I think Carol's story, to be honest, is over, um, and I don't see anything happening with them because their relationship is rather strange as it is, and I think the two of them being isolated and alone kind of ruins the appeal because they're such close characters because they've been through so much together, but I feel like it, it wouldn't work with the two of them. And then Rosita potentially only has something maybe like a romantic interest, but I... Uh, to me, Rosita's story is done as well, and uh, that's another reason why I think that the show should just leave behind the old characters. But, however, we have all of this, which are all our loose hanging plot threads, and just because Daryl will leave the group and head out on his road trip across the US, doesn't mean that more Walking Dead characters cannot still appear. 
So we still have the big mystery of the helicopter, and that could easily be written into the Commonwealth story. These people over the radio, this other community really far away who have really big resources. He could totally mix, like, meet up with them. I think because it's Daryl, Dwight's story still has some sort of relevance, and Dwight is definitely out there somewhere. So Dwight and Sherry could perhaps be reunited, or there could perhaps be an end to that story. Heath is definitely out there somewhere. There's something going on that's interesting with him, definitely. Um, Georgie, who appeared in, in one episode, I think she's definitely a cool character to meet on the road, um, somewhere out there, and is someone that you could definitely meet outside of Georgia. And Morgan, of course, who's leading Fear the Walking Dead. If Daryl perhaps headed in the Texas direction, then maybe that's a cool thing that he could meet up and he could have a big crossover with those characters. But um, I think... Generally, I'd just love to see The Walking Dead head in a different direction, somewhere that's not Georgia, somewhere that's not with these massive casts of characters and someone that's not another war. He can head off in the road, he can meet different characters, perhaps he can be haunted by hallucinations of, say, Sophia or, or Beth, maybe, um, and he can just head out on his own. He could meet all these quirky characters, all these cool scenarios, and can head into different environments. I'd either say head south, but since fear has already done that perhaps heading north into canada and perhaps getting some snowy scenarios would really break things up and head as something of a reboot of the series because we're going to be heading into season 10 by this point and i really think that that's perhaps a time that if the show is going to continue which if it if it was up to me i would have ended it at eight or even earlier maybe but if the show is going to go on i'm going to keep watching it and i want it to do the best as possible so i think perhaps heading into a snowy area that would be really cool See Daryl meet some people, see Daryl after a couple of seasons, finally reach this community, see what problems he can encounter there. And uh, as this lone wolf, he can. there's definitely a different vibe uh, with, the, with the character and with the show, and I think that's something that the show needs because it's become very samey, and I think this potentially is a way that we could keep Rick and all the others alive, keep them in a little separate world. They're continuing to live a happy life. Um, they've actually made it. We've got our payoff for that. We don't have to see all our favorite characters die. But then we get new stories, new characters, tie off those loose ends, and Daryl is the lead without making it feel awkward. Do you like my idea? If if so, give me a, a comment. Uh, tell me if you hate it. Tell me if you like it. Tell me what you would do in this situation, because it's definitely a tricky one. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.